We had several trucks that had chainsaws stolen out of the back of them while we were in the back of the house cutting. I needed to worry about clearing debris and not the other equipment in the back of my truck. Our city was devastated by a natural disaster and I decided to do something with just my chainsaw. As time progressed and more people joined, we had a lot of expensive equipment and a lot of it was donated. And you know, you have an obligation to take care of it and secure it and make sure nothing happens to it. And that's where Tough Trucking was able to help me. Something as simple as having a bed cover and not having to worry about any of your other saws or equipment getting stolen out of your truck while you're elsewhere cutting is, is a huge help to be able to focus on clearing debris. In certain areas you had to have the DOT regulated uh, strobe lights to be able to cut if it was on a major roadway or something. You know, nobody else could get in there without the lighting package to do to, to help and I mean these people needed help I mean they're otherwise they're gonna have to wait on the city and with, with everything going on the city was already swamped so you know getting the lighting package just that's just one more small thing we can do to be able to get in to help the people that otherwise may have had to wait you know, who, who knows how long Tough Trucking was able to help. They had everything in stock. They, they got us in, got us out with virtually no downtime to, so we could get back to work helping them. We were ready when the tornado and the hurricane hit and we'll be ready for the next one. You know, I don't know who I would be today if I hadn't picked up a chainsaw and started helping for as long as I did, you know, it, it, it definitely changed me.